Chris Mosley here, man. Today I'm going to show you how to get your drone in the air, man. It ain't that hard. I'm going to show you how to put the propellers on, show you basic flight stuff, um, how to control the app, um, basic safety tips and stuff like that. Nothing major. You got your drone here. I always try to set it up on a flat surface. And it alternates on the colors. You got black, black, gray, gray. It has a little small black dot for the black. And the gray is just solid gray. So you match it up with your propellers. You got black and gray. So I always match the colors accordingly. That's the wrong way. See, they twist to the left. It's going to tell you which way to twist it to tighten it on. Oh, see, I put the wrong color. That's black. It's gray. You need to go on this side. Bam. You don't have to put them real tight. Now, don't, don't try to put them on there too tight because... I never had any problems with the strength on them. I give them a little snug, a tuck, snug, tuck fit, and you're good. You ain't got to put them too tight. And we good. We got our propellers on. You don't want to fly with damaged propellers. So make sure they just not all beat up, you know, and you're good to go. Mommy, mom, here we go. Okay, number one rule, keep the kids away from it. All right, let's get started. So to turn it on, you gotta press once, press again and hold. It's gonna tell you how much your battery life is like. Boom, you on. It's gonna calibrate, give you that sound. Let's move to the remote. You're gonna give it a flip. Always try to fly with full power, always if possible. You wanna have as much battery power as possible. We good to go. We're gonna set it on the ground and we're gonna try to put this thing in the air. Oh, also you gotta download the DJI app. It's not hard to use, and um, I'm gonna show you how to how to control it. It's pretty simple. You gotta have your Wi-Fi on. Um, you connect to your Phantom on your Wi-Fi. The password is one two three four one two three four. Always, unless you change it. Um, I don't know what that is. Let's move to our camera. We're gonna pull up the app. It's pretty simple, man. Um, it's gonna say disconnected until it connects. It shouldn't take long to connect. And um, it'll give us a view of what the camera sees. If my Wi-Fi is on, hold on, let me check and make sure my Wi-Fi is on. It's asking us to calibrate, let me calibrate it. And what you do is you just hold it and twist it around. And let's go ahead and put it on the remote like it should be. Sometimes you will get these random error messages, GPS and all this stuff. Or maybe it's just mine and be acting up sometimes. But when I get messages like this, I just turn it off and I turn it back on. And usually I don't have no problems. But it's not supposed to say that compass error message right there. You know, sometimes you just kind of have to play with it. Toggle the mode that it's in. But that's supposed to say GPS ready to go and be red and be green. That's how I know I'm ready to fly. And my GPS and everything is, is, is calibrated and it's ready to go. So, I'm going to play with it a little bit. Okay, you saw a flash green? Ready to go? Okay, so we might be ready to go. We just got to wait till it get connected and ready to go. Sometimes it take a little while. Alright people, so you got your altitude with the left stick, that's going to be up, down in the air, up, higher, and down, and this is going to twist it left and right, twist which way you're facing the front, and this right here is going to control which direction you're going, like forwards, backwards, moving to the right and moving to the left, so that's your basic controls, it's not that complicated, you just got to be careful and try to move slowly until you get it down pat, it's not easy, to, it's not hard to break this thing, I don't care what people say, it's not hard to break it. I done broke three of them already, so you got to be careful until you get these movements down pat. Up, down, altitude, twist left, twist right, forward, backwards, moving to the right, moving to the left. Simple controls. All right, we got the propeller started. I always start mine manually. They got an automatic mode that'll put it in the air for you, but I don't use that. All right, we're going to take this thing up. We're going to put it in the air. We're going to move up a little bit. Now, if you're not touching anything, this thing's supposed to sit in the air in one spot. If you're not touching nothing. So that's how you know it's calibrated good. I'm not touching the muscle control right now. 
It should be sitting still. Period. It should be holding stationary. Let's take it forward. You want to watch power lines and you want to watch out for trees. You don't want to be close to that at all. Slow, smooth controls. Stay away from power lines. One thing you need to keep in mind now, whichever way that camera is facing, your controls might be the opposite. The good thing about this drone is it's pretty steady, man. The, the footage is pretty steady because it got a good gimbal on it, so your footage always looks good. Now this right here is going to control your camera. It's going to control tilting your camera forward and back at the same time while you're flying it. Now you still got to fly it. And, but this right here is going to control your camera motion. The screen is going to show you what the drone is seeing. So if I take it up, you're going to be able to see what the drone is seeing as I take it up in the sky. Let's try it out. Now you want to also watch your drone. I also got my eyes on my drone too at the same time. Just keeping an eye on it. I got mine set to show me when it's oversaturated or when it's too bright. Now as you can see it's telling me I got a low battery. It's time to bring it back down. Even though if your battery dies it should come back home if your GPS is calibrated. If your GPS is calibrated it should come back to the, start you, to the point you started at. But that's why I said you want to have a a full charge before you start flying this thing, but we're gonna bring it down and continue this another day. I'm about to show you how to land it. You can land it automatically, but I land mine manually. That's just how I fly mine. You want to touch it down gently, touch it down gently. Yeah, to turn it off, same way you turned it on. One touch, one touch hold. You good to go. Now overall, man, just like anything, you know, camera or film related, it's just going to take practice, man. Just spend a lot of time with it take it slow you know don't pick it up from watching these tutorials and think you already know how to operate it. you want to take it slow and uh ease into it and practice in the open field that was my mistake i crashed two drones from trying to fly them around trees and around power lines because once it falls out of the sky nine times out of ten it's gonna break i don't know why they didn't put a cage or something around this camera but once it hits the ground it's a wrap for you buddy you out of that $3.99, you're going to have to buy a whole nother one. Uh, flight time is 20 minutes, like I said. Um, other than that, the upside to it is just smooth film type footage, man. 2.7K quality. Now, you're going to have to color grade it if you want it to look good or match the footage that's coming from your DSLR. That's another thing. You're going to have to color grade it so it will match up with what you film with your actual camera. But other than that, go get you a drone, I'm trying to tell you. Take your take your company to the next level. DJI, y'all owe me some money for promoting your product. Y'all owe me.